What's up YouTube, Tommy Shane Smith here coming at you from Cork, Ireland, and I'm about to give you the express tour of the city, including the coolest church that I have ever seen in my entire life. Let's hit it. For you. Okay. Most things will be closed about 5 p.m. The Butter Museum, all about the butter industry, believe it or not. The St. Anne's Church, then the English market. You might get time to go to them before. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Once again, because I only have a week in Ireland and I'm trying to see basically all of it, popped into the tourist office. And importantly this time, I asked them what time stuff closed, and it turns out a lot of stuff closes in two and a half hours. So we gotta make this super express. So this right here is St. Anne's Church. It's up on the hill a bit and overlooks the entire city. But the tourist office told me that if you come up here, you can climb to the top and get an incredible view of the whole city. So we're gonna start with that so we can see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Of course, no problem. Five euros. Just need this for the third floor because you go right past the bells and you can ring the bells on the first floor. Oh, you can ring them? Yeah. Thank you so much. Apparently, not only do you get to come up to the tower, but you actually get to ring the bells themselves. But they give you this ear protection. This is cool. I know, right? I mean, I love the sound of church bells. So, there's a book of uh, songs that you can play. My favorites, Idlewise, The Lord of the Rings. Or perhaps you want something more like Hey Jude or The Game of Thrones. The only thing that I wish was different is I wish that these numbers actually corresponded to their place in the scale. Because if you play them in order, it's actually not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this is dope. I am the church crier. I am crying. That is awesome. And now for the ear protection, because I know what I just did. Can you hear me? It's like a little cavern labyrinth. Ooh. So this is the pendulum for the clock, and these are the pulleys that I was just controlling. I've been to a lot of old churches, but this is my favorite so far. It's kind of creepy. Oh man, it's getting real. Oh my gosh, look how close I am to the bell. They just let you come up here, like this close to it. Yeah, you better be having your ear protection. So this is what the top of an old church looks like. This is insane. Unexpected and absolutely worth five euros. Wow, this place is cool. This view, it's unreal. Out there on the south side, we've got the city. The Elizabeth Fort should be somewhere in that direction. Uh, our next stop is actually, conveniently, the Butter Museum. Gosh, this is tight. Ugh. 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 I'm stuck. Oh. Um, let me come out. <laughs> This is the problem when two people try to come up at once, it's it's impossible, so. Do you wanna come up? Yeah, thanks. I'm just nestled in all tight here, and I gotta get this one for my Instagram story. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you want that ear protection. Ooh. Thank you. The Butter Museum. 
Hello. Grand situation with the video is. Okay, I'll just restart this. Pardon me. Modernization. Okay. He just put a video on for me about the modernization of the butter business. Let's watch this. Dairy board. We involve dairy farms. We want to get absolutely staring us in the face. There were one hundred and thirty thousand. Long story short, the movie went like this. In the 60s, Irish butter production couldn't keep up with the times of England, and so the Dairy Board was formed to kind of create a system so they could market Irish dairy, and then so the farmers would have set prices and stuff, and basically the Irish got really good butter. What I learned, Kerrygold is not any specific brand. Multiple different dairies in Ireland make the Kerrygold butter. Now you know, I really want to churn this but I won't. Self-control. Thank you so much. I can pretend I'm doing it. Thank you so much. Oh, so okay. Dinner. Lily of Killarney. How nice is that? I don't have an Irish butter wrapper. Apparently in the 16th and 17th century, Cork was like the world's hot spot for butter in the North Atlantic and they did a lot of like tinned butter and stuff too that they would send out to like the West Indies and stuff like that. So that's why the Butter Museum is here. I'm cutting it really close on time. Elizabeth Fort closes in about 40 minutes and then the English market closes an hour after that. So that's why I seem tired and out of breath because I'm trying really hard to book it. Elizabeth Fort, there was an air raid shelter because during World War II, the Irish, even though they declared themselves neutral, feared being invaded by either the Germans or the Britons. It turns out that the Germans, the Americans, and the British all had invasion plans for Ireland if they needed them. Now you know. Hey, 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 hey. take it easy now, boy. When I walked by, I actually thought that was a real guy. The Elizabeth Fort was built in the 17th century here in Cork, and there was a lot of buildings built inside the walls. They've all since come down after the siege of Cork and a lot of other things. In the 1800s, they actually changed this from being a military barracks into a women's prison. Since then, they reused it for military, put up the guns and the cannons. And then in the 20s, they actually just turned it into a police station. The police station is these old 17th century walls on them. And then up here, you can see St. Finbar's Cathedral, who is the patron saint of Cork. So beautiful building here, most famous building on the skyline here in the city. And no trip to Cork would be complete without a trip to the famous English market. Literally anything you can think of is right here, fresh, super ready to go. Was good. Now the main thing a lot of people really like about the university here is that they say it has a bit of a Harry Potter-ish vibe to it. I'm not really familiar with the films, I didn't watch much of them, but I suppose this is a bit Hogwartsy. I'll let you decide. And so to finish up our express tour of Cork today, we have to check out Fitzgerald Park, which is where everyone and all the guides say you should come check out. And I can see why, because this park is quite wonderful.
You know, all things considered, this park, better than I expected. The church, one of the best churches I've ever seen. Cork is turning out to be a much better city than I had anticipated, and I'm wishing that I had more than just a day to spend here. Now, then when we're done with our time at Fitzgerald Park, at the very end, there's a way we can cross the river, and it's on Cork's famous Shaky Bridge, which apparently it's just a bridge that's shaky. It's like a um, suspension bridge. Um, the lady at the hostel actually told me it's not very shaky, it's more of a bouncy bridge, but apparently bouncy bridge didn't sound as cool as a shaky bridge did, so they just called it that. So this is the shaky bridge, which... Yeah, it's a little bit... It's a little bit bouncy if you jump on it. One last note while we're on the bridge. Fellas, if you're ever gonna do love locks, do it right. Get like a nice big gold one that has a key on it and engrave your name in it. Because the whole point is that you take the key and you throw it in the river. That way nobody can ever come up and unlock your lock and your love. Ladies, if a man ever tries to do a love lock with you but does a combination lock, oh, just, just get rid of him now. Thank you so much for watching my video from here today in Cork. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Tommy Shane Smith. And I'm looking forward tomorrow to show you the Ring of Carrie. Travel on.